Hey guys, it's Adam from Shield and Sword Academy here. Hey, today I show you guys something pretty cool. I went to a three gun event in Garrettsville, Ohio a couple weeks ago, and I was talking with Gary Quisenberry. If you remember Gary, he was on Top Shot and Top Shot All Stars. Gary's an awesome guy, super down to earth, and he recently cooperated to help make a holster called the Q series. The Q series is a holster like you've never seen before. Let's take a look. That is the holster right there, this portion right here. Some of you guys are saying, Adam, that's not a holster. Guys, that is a holster. I can put this on in the morning, and where I put it, it stays relative to my position of body, so it's not moving around. Um, it covers the trigger guard completely, as you can see. It retains the firearm, even unorthodox shooting positions. And, of course, it allows for one-handed holstering, so this stays open the entire time. So, boom, one-handed holstering. Now... Um, as you guys might be able to see on here, this is one piece of Kydex. It's not two pieces of Kydex meshed together, it is one piece. The only attachment point, which are these right here, which you're probably able to see, is what attaches this little belt loop attachment part right here. Um, so far, I've been really thrilled about this holster. I've liked it, no big issues. Um, it's uh, super comfortable. It's extremely lightweight, as you're probably guessing. And even when you're sitting for extended periods of time, I drove from Ohio to Indiana. It was about a six-hour drive each way. I did one in the morning and came back that night. So 12 hours on the road that night and that day. This thing barely felt like I even had it on. Uh, so, like I said, super light. And it doesn't really jab into you at all. The only thing I really don't like about it so far is right now, this belt loop attachment is only made in one size. So my belt, um, being a 1.5 inch belt, does not fill this entire thing. And I just think it doesn't look um, as good as when it fills, um, if, it, if this was shorter to exactly 1.5 inches, I would like a little more because it just, it just looks a bit cleaner. That's it. Um, it's really just aesthetics. Uh, something to consider, it definitely does take some time to get used to this holster. As you guys probably are aware, most holsters cover the slide and they usually come back here and they call sweat guard, which covers up here on the very back of the slide against your body. This does not. So when you're going to holster it, it'd be like this in your belt, you've got to make sure your trigger guard goes right into there and snaps into place. Um, I wear undershirts, and for me, it's a little bit like you have to get a little bit extra time because the undershirt could get snagged between this holster and the gun, and therefore, you know, the gun could go off. So I'm very careful with that. But in general, you've got to be careful wearing an undershirt because an undershirt can get caught into any holster. Um, again, just getting taken used to. You know, if I switch from a SIG to a Glock or a Glock to a SIG, it's going to take you time to get used to. So check them out. The website is QSeriesLLC.com. I'll put that up here. Check them out on Facebook. And uh, hit up on Instagram. Let them know that we sent you. Um, you guys, Adam from Children's Sword Academy. Check out our Facebook, our YouTube, and uh, you know, subscribe to our YouTube. And also check us out on Instagram at Adam underscore S-A-S-A. -S -A. All right, guys. Have a good night.